As a leader of Jazz House Kids and working with our leadership, again, our senior staff and our board, our advisors, um, you know, we're always taking stock of how we're doing, what we could do better, um, our mission, are we, are we, are we mission focused? Um, you know, where are the gaps? Where are the opportunities? And for Jazz House <laughs> and a person who has a fair bit of energy, um, I felt the one thing we were missing and the one opportunity that we had was to create a program that could serve thousands and hun hundreds and thousands of people. And the part that got me personally involved that I, uh, that I loved as a performer was a jazz festival. And so when we had our summer camp, and every year we bring together about 40 instructors, guests and, and otherwise, as well as 150 kids, well, it didn't take long for me to say, hmm, and we want to do a culminating concert? Well, we can do it for ourselves, or we can do it for the community. Um, also, I wanted people to really see what we were doing and to recognize that that 8, 10, 12-year-old, that 18-year-old, that college student, that 88-year-old who came out, that that's what's so unique about jazz. Um, English speaking student, uh, you know, the Spanish student, uh, the cultures, again, the different class. All of that is at play at the jazz house and is at play at a jazz festival. The audience particip participation, coming out with your family, uh, laying on the lawn, you know, whatever. I just, I don't think there's, uh, you know, an artist around that doesn't love a jazz festival. And so when we had that opportunity to do that, I, I said to my staff, listen, I think we should start the Montclair Jazz Festival. Well, at the time, I had envisioned, you know, a few hundred people showing up. And they did. And we, uh, I'll never forget one of our first festivals, Monty, the great Monty Alexander came. And we had a little raised area, grass, didn't have, I didn't think about the fact that the sun would be beating down on them and it was a beautiful, idyllic uh, setting, an electric piano. And uh, our artistic chair said, Christian called and said, Monty, would you help us get this festival off the ground? And he said, no problem, no problem, I'm there. And he did come. And he looked at the piano and he goes, well, I can't say I've ever played one of those before. And he sat down and, you know, just tore it up and, and just was swinging. And it was a beautiful experience. At the end, we gave him his fee and he said, you know, Melissa, I want you to take this and invest this back in Jazz House Kids. So, you know, today that festival has a professional staff um, and production. It's got an amazing stage, uh, lights. Um, and it serves about over 5,000 people from the tri-state area and beyond. Uh, vendors, 20-some vendors, many of our sponsors that are there um, and, and, and partake in this. Families, we have a family jazz discovery tent where we read in Spanish. Uh, we partner with the library. We partner with the museum to do art. Uh, we have a whole program called Drums Around the World, and it's a program for young people to kind of celebrate the diaspora that cr really was the foundation of what would later be the blues and jazz and so forth uh, are there. Our talented students are on stage, and so it's an amazing, amazing day that um, my staff know that my sights are on it becoming a weekend. Right now it's a full day event uh, for the second weekend in, in August. And so what we do is we have the summer jazz workshop where we go to Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola and sell out there and all of our big bands play. We go to local clubs and we perform with our small uh, ensembles and then this amazing jazz festival. And it really, uh, again, I think is a, is a lesson in 
an organization. It is now the second largest event um, for the town of Montclair. It is one of the largest jazz festivals um, in New Jersey. It's a tr it is becoming a, a cultural destination uh, point, so therefore it's a rich partnership with um, the, the many sponsors that, that get involved. Uh, it has a real civic engagement part. Our county uh, supports it and the fire department and emergency medical assistance. Um, you know, our town really supports it in terms of cleaning up and parks and services. Our, our, our mayor is, is very supportive. Um, you know, they were writing a lot in the newspaper last year about the size of the festival and they were worried about you know, the parking issues. We now have four shuttle buses that commute. And at the end, we were asked to um, talk to many of the town um, council on some of the things that we put in place to be able to have such a robust festival, yet not disturb um, and, be, and be able to be a part of the community. And so, again, I think at the Jazz House, we're here to serve. We're here to serve families. Uh, our community. We're here to, to really and do that through jazz and to celebrate this music. So we started the Montclair Jazz Festival as a way to say it's all about jazz. It's all about creating a house that we can all live in and celebrate who we are. And, and it's all about tomorrow's future, which is our kids. So the Montclair Jazz Festival, I think at the end of the day, is Jazz House Kids at its very best. Melissa Walker. <laughs>